Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about Apple Pay. I'm very excited about this new feature where you can integrate the Apple Pay into your online ordering page or your website. So keep in mind that this video is specifically for your website and your online ordering page. If you have a branded app with us, that's going to be a separate video on how to do that. Before I start showing you how to integrate Apple Pay into your online ordering page, I want to explain to you what Apple Pay is. As you may know, Apple Pay has become more and more popular over the years. It's a very convenient way for customers to pay with their Apple phones, iPhone, Android, even their laptops. So Apple Pay is already built into their uh, Apple devices, which makes it very easy for them to uh, just with a few clicks make an order. This is very helpful, especially, let me give you an example. Let's say a customer is going for a walk or a jog and they want to order some food, but they don't have their credit card with them or they haven't made, made um, an account yet and they just downloaded your app. So Apple Pay gives them the convenience to quickly create the account and just order from their Apple wallet, which sends the credit card information securely to your bank to make the payment be processed, right? So if you have a Clover Merchant account, it works with the Clover. So just to kind of uh, give you a brief overview, right? So we have been working with Clover for a long time, right? So the Clover POS um, basically can now accept Apple Pay. It's been accepting Apple Pay, obviously, through the Clover POS, the one in person. But and when it comes to, um, you know, third-party developers like us, now we have the tools to give this access to you so they can send the order from their devices to your Clover using Apple Pay, right? So, for example, let me see if I can give you an idea what I mean by that. So, <clears throat> right now, you have this technology right here, which is your dashboard, where you, can ex where you, where you basically put your menu, you add your inventory, your images, and then your customers order from that website or order online page. Right now you have credit card, you have Google Pay, and then you have pay allocation. Let me show you the options that are currently available, right? So right now you have pay with credit card, pay allocation, which is they come to the store, pay with cash or pay with check or however they wanna pay. Pay upon delivery, right? You make the delivery and they can pay with whatever option they want. Or you can do gift cards, right? You can enable or disable this. And Google Pay but as you can see there's one thing missing from here which is Apple Pay but now it's available right for most merchants I'm going to show you how you can find this in your Clover dashboard okay so when you go to your Clover dashboard you'll notice uh, your dashboard looks something like this but keep in mind that those of you watching this video your dashboard may look different because Clover uh, changes it over the years or over time and <clears throat> Right now, I can log into different dashboards, and they, look, they may look a little bit different than the other. That's because they do something called A-B testing, which they try different dashboards to see which one works best, and they kind of implement that one dashboard. Right now, when you log in, yours may look like this, or it may not. But if yours does look like this, then you can follow the settings right here on how to do it, right? You go right here, and you press the down arrow. So you'll find it right above Clover Orders right here. It'll tell you, it says, on your Clover dashboard, go to account and set up, <clears throat> e-commerce payments, and then you'll see something called iframe integration, right? And you press this button here to get the certificate, and then you upload the certificate right here, and then you verify the domain. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's go ahead first. You want to double check a few things, right? So you want to make sure that everything matches up because the business name, the URL, all have to match up. So let's say you own the business um, Bagel Boss, for example, right? And it's located here, right? This is the name. Make sure that this information is exactly what this name has to be. Right now, obviously, they don't match, so it's not going to work. So what you want to do is you want to choose that location from your drop down. If you have multiple locations, you have an arrow pointing down. If you only have one location, then it should be pretty straightforward and simple for you. Right now, I logged into a different dashboard, I mean a different merchant account. You can see it looks completely different. So your dashboard may look like this, and some of your dashboards may look like the one I just showed earlier. But they both can go to the same location, right? From that dashboard, the one I just showed you earlier, you would do it from by going to Account and Setup, right? Which is right here, Account and Setup, right here. But from this dashboard, you have to do it from here, Settings, View All Settings. 
And then from here, you're going to go to e-commerce payments and then hope that Apple Pay is there. If it's not, just be patient. It should be it should hit your device or your account soon. It, or you can call Clover to ask them to add it for you faster. Look, this one doesn't have it, so but uh, but uh, but be patient because uh, it'll be it'll just coming your way. Right now, as of two weeks ago, I would say about ten percent of customers had it. Just recently, it looks like about 70-80% of merchants have it. So by the time you watch this video, you may already have it. So if you do have it, that means you can start using it right away. Okay, let's go ahead. This Obviously, this location does not have it. We're going to try a different location here. Okay, so let's say you own a lot of locations, right? It could be that maybe some of the locations that have Apple Pay enabled. Just like when you get a Clover merchant account, each merchant account is different from the other. Apple Pay also has to be enabled separately for each merchant account. And it doesn't take too long. It takes about 5-10 minutes to do each location. So once you do the first one, the rest should be very easy. So I went ahead and chose, um, let's see what I chose here. I chose, um, there's two bagel bosses here. Let's see. Let's try this one here. Let's see if this one has Apple Pay. This one is called Bagel Boss JCC. Okay, let's see if this one has Apple Pay. Okay, Bagel Boss Express JCC. Let's hope this one has it. If it doesn't, we'll keep trying until we find one that has it. This one doesn't have it either, but, uh, but I'm hoping in the next few days or three days, this should have it as well. Let's try a different Bagel Boss. Let's see if that one has it. The only reason I'm showing you this, so in case you yours doesn't have it, you don't get... Um, uh, you understand the reason being behind why it's not there. But I'm also going to show you the ones that do have it, so that way if yours does, has a, does uh, have it, you can start using it right away. Okay, we're going to choose uh, this location here, 521 Boulevard. Uh, let's see where that's at. Let me move my picture over here. 521, this one here, okay? We're going to choose this location here, okay? So that one is matches up with this one and uh, matches up with this name. But if you want to make sure it matches up correctly with the business address, just click on business information in your account and setup or view all settings. All you do is just verify the address. If it matches up, that means you got a match going. So look, I have a match. See the match? 521 Boulevard and then 521 Boulevard and the name, they all match. So when you see this match happen, that means you can do the Apple Pay but we still don't know 100% if it's available for this location. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. Remember the first two times it was not, but let's try a third time. Let's see if this one has it. Yes, yes, yes. This one has Apple Pay. Look at that, okay? But I want to tell you one other thing. As you can see, there's two Apple Pays here, right? There's the iframe integration and there's the API integration, right? There's two of them here, okay? So... One the reason that there's two of them, this is for your website, this is for your app. What I mean by app, right? So as you may know, we also have an app. Let me show you what that is. See, we have an iPhone Android app. And some of you have an app with us, which I highly recommend you get if you don't have one. If you do want to get one, all you do is reach out to us. We can build you an iPhone Android app, which has Apple Pay built into it. But in this video, for now, I'm going to focus on the website part of it. And then once you get your website going, give us a call and we can get you the app one too, okay? That one is a different setting and we can help you with that one as well. So let's go ahead and go through the steps here, okay? I'm going to go through the steps here. Okay. Okay, so it says uh, choose the file for do do verification, right? Um, sorry, I went to the wrong one. Make sure, you, make sure you're in the right location. So all you do is you go right here under Apple Pay iframe. iframe means your website, okay? Download the certificate, okay? Once you download it, okay, I've already downloaded it, and now all I'm gonna do is put the domain name here. So I'm gonna go to the location called this one here. Make sure to look up here. When, when it matches up with your business name, let me show you one more time how to find the business name. Most of you watching this is gonna be very easy because you only have one location, but those of you that have multiple, just verify the business name. And I go back here. Okay, and then it, says, it tells me, press the down arrow here, and then all you do is you go down here and you copy this URL, okay? Right, we copy the URL. Once you copy the URL, you wanna go back over here and paste it, okay? 
And if you, and then once you paste it, oh, let me download the verification file. Perfect. Okay. Press save and then verify. There we go. Verify. Perfect. So what does that mean? That means that the Apple Pay for this location has been verified. Okay. How do we tell if it's working? So you have to take one more step, which is not that hard. Go to Clover Order Settings, Settings, and then what you want to do is you want to go here, and then where it says you're not eligible for Apple Pay, make sure it's on right here, okay? Right here, it's on. See it? Yours may, yours may be off, by the way, so just make sure you turn it on like this, okay? Now, we're going to have an additional payment option called Apple Pay, and how do you check if you have the Apple Pay uh, ready to go? Just go to visit the site, okay? Visit the site and just buy something. I'm um, going to buy something very simple. I'm just going to buy, um, let me see if I can just buy a, a drink here. Um, let me just buy a bakery here. Okay, I'm just going to buy a brownie. Something very simple, just to show you again. I'm only doing this to show you. And when you press, uh, go to your checkout page, <laughs> you'll get the Apple Pay. Again, so remember, when you have multiple locations like this, uh, each location may have it enabled or some may not. But by the time you watch this video, I'm pretty confident that most of you watching will have Apple Pay ready to go. Okay? And then, uh, so, I'm going to press Continue as Guest. And there it is, Apple Pay. When they select it, obviously the Apple Pay is ready to go. It's right here. And now they can order with Apple Pay. Again, Apple Pay uh, is a convenience for your customers because a lot of them have iPhones uh, with them. And some of them have Google phones, so they can do Google Pay. So you have both options. This is going to allow uh, your customers to have more convenience because they can quickly order without trying to add a credit card on file or trying to find their credit card. Some people these days, they don't, uh, I've seen people, they don't, you don't even carry a credit card no more. I've seen, I have friends of mine, they just have, all they have is their phones, that's it, and that's their credit card. So this is going to make it easier for those people that just want to quickly order from your website or from your uh, iPhone Android app. Once you do this, and uh, just keep in mind uh, one thing. There's iPhone and there's Android, okay? iPhone, Android, they're competitors, right? They, they have their own technologies. So when you add Apple Pay to the iPhone uh, and if somebody downloads it on the Android phone, and I say Android meaning your app, they won't have Apple Pay on there. They'll have Google Pay. That's why if I download your app on on an iPhone, I can't see Google Pay because they're they're competitors in a way, which I don't agree with. They should allow both payment options because I think I find it kind of strange to to um, prevent that from happening. It's like it's like saying, okay, you have um, using um, iPhone, you can only use Visa, but using Android, you can only use Mastercard. It's kind of not good in a way they should allow both of these to be on both phones people can choose what they want but i see where they're coming from because they're this is their own technology they're trying to encourage their own user base to grow but again that's up to that's that's a different topic on its own but at least enable it uh, for your customers to have the convenience to use apple pay and if you have any questions or get stuck in any way in the process just let us know uh, we're here to help out and remember um Remember, one thing is um, keep, an, uh, keep an open mind to getting a branded app because, because once you add your Apple Pay to your website, adding it to your iPhone Android app, your own branded app is going to be huge, right? Having your own iPhone Android app uh, in the App Store. It works on the iPad too, by the way. And all this stuff works with the Clover, right? Now you have all this technology at your fingertips. And we're always adding new features, improving it, enhancing it. Um, but give us a call if you want to learn more. You can find uh, a phone number, obviously, on our website here. Just go to zaytech.com. All you do is book a meeting, um, and one of us will talk to you about it, show you how it works, give you a demo, try it out. Um, you can see the back end, the front end, the loyalty program, the free item program. Um, there's so many cool features that uh, by, the time you, by the time you watch, some of you may watch this video six months later. Some of you may watch the video a year later. So keep in mind that by the time you by that time we'll have even more features added to the uh, the technology itself. So, um, but for now let's keep the video at this. Um, thank you. I want to keep it under 15 minutes. So those of you 
I know restaurant owners are very busy. They want to get right to the point. So hopefully this video helped out. If not, let us know. We can assist you further. Thank you.